From casual sleepwear to slinky lingerie, local label Leather Fair has done it all. Or so you'd think. At its recent Naughty or Nice fashion show, the brand went as far as presenting its latest collection, a vintage-inspired bridal collection. And that's not all. Its designer also revealed to Razor TV they are planning to crack the kawaii Japanese market. <laughs> Les Affairs' Naughty or Nice fashion show ended with a bridal set that saw its finale gown being auctioned off for $500. But how did this nightgown brand come around to designing bridal gowns too? Because the whole co concept was actually based on a vintage trousseau, which is like a, a touch of vintage and also a, a dowry in, a influence kind of a inspiration. So that drew me to actually source for laces which are vintage looking. Uh, French inspired kind of bath fabrics to actually make them into a tiered dress because that is really found in catwalk trends. A big leap, and that's not even where they're stopping. The Singaporean brand is actually looking at breaking into the Japanese market next. Kawaii, anyone? We are still going uh, over to Japan. Uh, we have to make a few more trips down to meet up with more buyers and media, me, the media. A lot of Asian countries. They actually aspire to be like the Japanese designers or the Japanese kind of a trend. If you are in Japan, um, automatically other Asian countries will actually benchmark themselves as, oh, okay, so if Les is going to be in Japan, so, I mean, their brand is definitely working for us too because Japan is picking it up, so they are going to pick it up naturally. Japanese fashion is a little bit more quirky than most other fashions, so... How is that going to change the design? We still want to uh, keep to our principle of our designs, but yet also be uh, have a bit of touch on what the, the Japanese kawaii girls actually look for, like the extra bows and the extra satin. That little touches will actually add on to our designs, but somehow we're still going to keep that principle of our designs. So that will make us Les Affair more than Les Affair trying to be Japan. But does Les Affair even stand a chance against all the European players in the Japanese lingerie and sleepwear market? Does it make a difference to people whether it's an Asian or European design? Not really. It looks better, I guess. Yeah. More use of like uh, lace, yeah. And the colours also tend to be more stronger. Yeah, stronger. As long as it looks nice and it's comfortable. Nice piece. I don't think it would make a difference, but uh, it's very reminiscent of the Victoria's Secret style. Well, kawaii or not, we certainly hope that Singapore's own Les Affair will soon be able to give Victoria's Secret a run for its money. <laughs>